Good evening. Tonight, we look toward a brighter, safer, and more prosperous future with Donald J. Trump as our next President of the United States. When I served as President Trump's ambassador to the Vatican, I witnessed the importance of having a president who stands up for religious freedom. Over the last four years, the failed policies of the Biden administration have jeopardized our right to worship freely and weakened our nation. Freedom of religion is one of our nation's most important foundational principles. Throughout our history, the right to practice our faith has been at the heart of the American experience. Today, this fundamental right is under attack. In recent years, the radical policies, rules, and regulations imposed by our own government have threatened people of faith. However, we have reason to hope. In our lifetime, no president has done more to advance and defend religious freedom than President Donald Trump. During his term, President Trump defended the rights of doctors, nurses, and teachers to act in accordance with their conscience. He appointed three Supreme Court justices committed to protecting our God-given right to worship. He expanded school choice and defended the First Amendment freedom of every student to practice their faith in public schools. As president, Donald Trump signed an executive order that defined international religious freedom as a moral and national security imperative. And he was the first and only president to convene a meeting at the United Nations dedicated to ending religious persecution and defending religious liberty around the world. Tragically, many of President Trump's policies have been replaced by the Biden administration's anti-faith agenda that uses the power of the government to impose far-left ideology on religious believers. Biden's FBI has even stated that practicing Catholics present an elevated risk of domestic terrorism simply because of their faith. Unlike President Biden, Trump has a proven track record for promoting and protecting religious freedom at home and abroad. Our choice is clear. We need strong leadership, bold action, and unwavering commitment to preserve our God-given rights. I am confident that President Trump will continue to fight for our founding principles and beliefs when he becomes the 47th President of the United States. Thank you.